this is Liz. Welcome to Fabric Friday. I've had an idea in my head for a while now. Um, whenever I go out in the car, the seat belt is rubbing my neck no end. So I thought I'd have a go at making some seat belt pads. And they're extremely easy. <laughs> that easy, in fact. I made one pair in the colour, my son's favourite colour, Sith, and my son's favourite colour, and uh, gave them to him, and then I made two more pairs, <laughs> and they're brilliant, and then um, I'll show you this one, this is fishy, and it's got a velcro who can loop fastening to it, and that's all it is. It's a 10 inch square with some wadding batting in it. So I, the other day I did the footage for making these. And that's what I'm going to show you now. As I showed you, I'm doing two sets, two pairs. And I'm doing one in the leopard and one in the cat prints and I've cut out exactly where I need and I'll just go through it with you it's two pieces of material 10 inches square so 10 by 10 that's it and that'll do the front these can be fully reversible but I'm just having that as a front and a plain background uh, backing and this is just a 10 inch square of cream and for each one is let's say there's two fronts here and two backs so I need two pieces of wadding batting and they are also 10 inches square or thereabout I'll be trimming them up uh, exactly anyway and for each one you will need if I put it against that you'll see it better for each one you will need about 6 inches of this hook and loop I always notice velcro but the hook and loop fastening one for each so as I'm making two of the leopard print I've got two there this is the pile of the things for the cats so I've got two there so the rest of it I do sitting at the sewing machine so that's where I'll take you now and we'll get these done see Mason on my seat let's move him I apologise now if um, this video seems a bit sort of hodgepodge <laughs> because it basically might be. There's a house nearby that's having some alterations done and they keep having this noisy machinery going. Right, now for the, uh, your pattern side, get one piece of your hook and loop system what I tend to do is put it about two inches in and an inch down. You can pin it, but I've got my little mat here so I can measure. Sorry, did tell you. This seem to have stopped for a few minutes, so I'm going for it. I'm just sewing so one side of your hook and loop onto the right side of your pattern material
and that's that one done. Now you get your packing material. It can be a pattern if you want and do exactly the same to one side there with the other side of your hoop and loop fastening so that's two inches in one inch down thereabouts doesn't have to be exact and sew that one on Basically how we did in the canning mat, you put your batting down or whatever you're using as the middle bit, you put that down, you put your backing material or one of them because this will be totally reversible with the right side, the velcro side up. I'm having a right time with Mason and them workmen and your other fabric the hook and loop fastening needs to be on the other side and it needs to be face down so when you've got it like that so all the way around it exactly the same as we did on the canning mat but leave an opening about four inches something like that now seam allowance you can leave whatever seam allowance you want whether it be a quarter of an inch or half an inch it doesn't really matter sorry my hands in the way isn't it I'm going for a quarter of an inch seam allowance, whether I get it or not, a different matter. <coughs> and on that occasion, I didn't get close enough for my quarter of an inch to turn. So just turn it back again. No problems, no one's going to have a go at you for it happens to all of us. Smoothing it down all the time. And we're back on the side that we first started on and I've back sewn at the start and at the end now it's just a matter of turning it now we've sewn all the way around and left a gap and as I told you with the county mat between the back material and your front is where you go in not next to their batting and then just turn it the right way around and I've already done this one I've done several actually I've turned this around all you do now is turn in edges and top set around it seems like I've stopped and started that many times I've lost track of where I am what I did is um, sewed round trimmed it all down and cut my corners trimmed it and then cut the corners and then turned it the right side out so now it's just a matter of closing up the opening stitching all the way around top stitch and then I've done straight down 
uh, about three inches on either side. I'll finish the other one and I'll show you that. Uh, you can see it better on the reverse side. There's my stitching lines, three inches in. It's so it'll actually fold nice over your seat belt. And you put your seat belt in there and it's nice and soft and cushiony for you. I've also made while well, I've been doing this one, I've made this one as well, um, a cat one. But you saw me cutting that material out. So there they are. I've had enough of <laughs> stop start. I'll do the intro and outro another time. <laughs> Bye. See that pads. Sit. Thank you.